Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The Economic Business Organization, the Orange County Business Council, is about to hold its big annual conference. And with us now is the group's Chief Economic Advisor, Wallace Walrit. Great. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Well, tell us a little bit about the conference. So we've been doing this conference about 12 years. Um, it's October 3rd. We do it in partnership with the County of Orange and the Orange County Workforce Investment Board. And we really look broadly at the economy and workforce and education trends that are affecting our future economy in Orange County. So you release a report, but we get to get a peek of it Absolutely. Uh, right here. And you break it down into some different sectors and important influences on our economy here in Orange County. So tell us about what they are. So the number one that's on everybody's mind is the job outlook. Um, and Orange County is actually doing really well in terms of um, our unemployment rate and our job creation. We did get below 6% unemployment earlier in the year. We ticked up a little bit above 6% right now, but that's because more people are coming back into the labor force and looking for work, which we can expect as the economy improves. And comparatively, that's better than the rest of the country and the state. W better than the state, better than the country, better than all our neighboring counties by several percentage points. Mm -hmm. So Orange County is really leading Southern California's recovery right now. Why do you think that is? I think we have a good business environment here. I think we have a lot of small and medium-sized businesses that are creating jobs. And I think we have a very diverse economy. So, um, for example, the uh, industries that are growing are very diverse. Mm -hmm. And what's really optimistic to me is a lot of the industries that were hit really hard in the Great Recession are coming back very strongly. And so those would be construction, uh, manufacturing, and tourism uh, coming back very, very strongly, and financial services. So that is the, the foundation of really a strong economy. Absolutely, when you create jobs in places like manufacturing and construction, you're probably creating a couple other jobs throughout the rest of the economy due to multiplier effects. Well, the center of all jobs, people. Talk about the population. Yeah, that's a, a great question. Orange County is changing demographically. We're getting more diverse, but we're also getting older quite rapidly. And I, I think the biggest economic or demographic trend facing Orange County is the aging of our population. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of baby boomers who might have retired a couple of years ago, didn't retire uh, because of you know getting hit by the Great Recession. They'll be retiring over the next five or ten years and we're really looking to the future for where's our workforce going to come from and of course most of that's going to be internally generated so that's why we look at education trends too in the report. So education is important if uh, we're getting older and the younger people are coming up it's really important to us that uh, the youngsters are educated so Absolutely. the whole economy can be supported. Um, yep. What are we looking at in terms of education? Locally? So education uh, once again and probably this is a foundation of why we're doing so well uh, economically right now um, we are, uh, have one of the highest college prep rates in the state. 43% of our kids who are graduating from high school are ready to go directly to four-year schools. Um, we also have some of the best school districts in the state, like Irvine Unified. We do have a couple areas th uh, in the, the county that are you know, uh, working their way towards getting up to that um, level of excellence. The biggest issue probably for some of those areas is language acquisition. Mm -hmm. So we still have about 24% of our students in K through 12 who are not fully English fluent. Well, we're talking about by 2020, uh, Latinos will be the predominant uh, population be. group. Yes. And uh, it's really important that education reach them in a very strong way as well. Absolutely, both in terms of language acquisition, academic performance, college preparation, and then preparing for the careers that are going to be here in Orange County. Oh, that's where the population is. That's uh, who's going to support us. That's right. All right. Thank you very much, Wallace Walrath, thank you very for much. being here. Thank you, Leslie. And uh, thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.